Hey, this is Murtaza from Networkers Home. Welcome back again to another video of WSA. In this video, we'll complete the system setup wizard of WSA via GUI. What I'll do from admin PC that I have configured for the management access of WSA, I'll take the GUI access of WSA and I'll navigate and log into it, the appliance. Uh, the GUI uses uh, HTTPS on port 8443 and HTTP on 8080. So I'll open this admin PC. The password is capital T EST 123. So for my own inconvenience, for my own convenience, what I'll do, I'll take a RDP of this admin PC because it is very small. I'll say remote desktop connection. The IP address is already mentioned here. The password is capital T E S T one two three. You can see I got the remote there, uh, remote access of this Windows PC that is the admin PC. Now from here, what I'll do, I'll take the access of my WSA. I'll take the GUI access of WSA and configure it. <coughs> I'll say the HTTP. 150.1.7.50. Don't forget to mention the port. Enter. Here you go. It's uh, prompting me for username and password. That is admin, and by default, the password is admin. I'm in, this is the main page that is the dashboard of your WSA. So I'll navigate to system administration and then to system setup wizard. On the start page, it's uh, asking me uh, to load the license. So first of all, what we'll do, we'll load the license into our WSA. I'll take a uh, SSH of WSA that is 150.1.7.50. I'll log in as admin. Wait for a second till it prompts you for the password. The password is iron port. So what I'll do, I'll say, first of all, let's check whether the time is correct or not. Yeah. So what I, you have to do, you have to keep your time of WSA exactly the same that is mentioned in your license. In the previous video, I showed you that. So, what I'll do, I'll press enter, sorry, control C, and I'll say load license. It's giving me two options, paste via CLI and load from the file. For now, we'll go with the first option. And this is my license. I'll say open, notepad. and I'll copy it here. And then con press Control D. Now it's asking me to press any key for more. I'll press it for, I guess, a multiple times. Yeah. Yeah, now it's asking me to accept the above license agreement. I'll say yes. You can see the license is accepted now. I'll say show license. You can see the license, the begin date, Tuesday, February 2014, and the end date is April 2014. I guess I don't need to commit it. 
Yeah, no. I'll cross this, I'll cross this. Now I'll again go to my system, system administration and system wizard. You can see I'm able to get in. Now on the system page, there is uh, there are some default settings. I'll first of all enter my WSA host name that is wsa.cisco.com. Preferred DNA DNS is 150.7.10.150.1.7.3. The region I'll put it as Asia. You'll you'll keep it according to your requirement. My requirement is Asia and India. The appliance mode of operation will be standard. I'll say next. It's asking me whether I have uh, another proxy web server in my network. For now, I don't have one there, so I'll say next. I'll say next. Again, next. I'm going with the defaults. Next. Now, there are two modes that you can configure at WSA in. One is explicit forwarding, that is layer two for layer four switch or no device. And another is transparent redirection. By clicking this, you'll enable your device as a transparent device. WCCP, we to read a router, but for now we'll go with explicit option. Later we can change it. Let's describe some password. Capital A D M I N at the rate one two three. Email will be generated to my username, to my email ID. That is sorry, it's Murtaza at the rate at first home. home. Same I'll be mentioning for SMTP, SMTP mails. And then I'll say next. It's giving me an error. Okay, leave it for now. I'll say next. I'll simply say next. You can review your configurations here. After reviewing, you can say install. I'll reload my page. You can see, you can go over on this route. You can check the route. You can check the interfaces. So I, I'm done with the system setup wizard. You can check the interface IP address. So that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one. In the next video, we'll see explicit forwarding.